Hey everybody, uh, haven't posted anything in a while. I've been super busy, just had a ton of uh, stuff on my plate. But um, <laughs> if you do, if you do watch my my channel, you probably know that I'm a huge fan of Notion, um, which is a it's a database tool. It's a free online database tool, um, but it comes in super super handy for games like. Um, uh, I, I use it for every like campaign that I play in. Um, I, uh, I use it to, especially if I'm GMing, like I use it to keep track of my notes for the games. I use it to keep track of like locations and, um, stat blocks for like weapons and, you know, uh, creatures and like you name it, right? Keeps me organized and, um, it's browser based. So like I can take it, I can take my laptop to the game store or whatever and run a game from my laptop. And then I have everything, you know, plugged into like, um, uh, I'm, I'm just learning Call of Cthulhu and I just ran my first game the other day. And, um, so I made myself like a little, um, a little cheat sheet on, uh, uh combat stuff because I'm still a little foggy on, um, how uh, how combat stuff works in Call of Cthulhu, but Call of Cthulhu is a lot more, um, it's more like role play and skills and um, investigation, that kind of stuff, you know. So um, what I did though, and and like, you know, I've done these before, I've, 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 I've used these for every game that I've played in for the last like few years, um, but it, so Notion has new AI tools which are actually really kind of impressive. Um, so I'm not going to like save the best for last. <laughs> I think I'm just going to lead into it and then show you what I think is like the, the most impressive, like the most useful tool right away. Um, so say that you wanted to set up like a little table like this of, um, of a, um, like a weapons table or something like that, right? Um, so what we do is that um, how Notion works is that you, if, if you press backslash, then it will give you a drop down um, and give you all kinds of of different you know different things like you can do a toggle list of tables you know there's all kinds of stuff and um, I'll I'll post a link somewhere to you know like. Um, I, you know, I've done databases like this for other games. Like if you, if you play Traveler or Stars Without Number, um, I've done databases for those games and I'll post a link to one that's in, uh, drive through RPG and you can kick me a buck if you feel like it, it's like pay what you want, but like a donation, suggested donation is a dollar and then it goes into my, um, I, I turn it into store credit to buy other games. <laughs> so, so anyways, like you have all kinds of stuff that you can plug into your database, right? But so here's, here's the new AI tools, right? Um, so if you don't know what like a chat GPT is like a chat bot, um, it's the, this is like, um, it's this, it's basically the same as like chat GPT, but then they've, they've added notion tools to it. Right. So like you could write something and have it translated, or you could, um, you could ask it to, to, um, write you a short story or a poem or, you know, like what have you, but also like a to-do list or, um, write, um, you know, like, but this is where we're going to get into the, like the, the database tools, right? So say that I wanted to make a, a database that had like weapons for, um, for a call of Cthulhu, right? So the, the shortcut for AI to get something to write AI is, um, or, or get notion to write AI is backslash and then space bar. Oops. Backslash. Well, okay, we'll just use the, we use the, the Notion little chat, chat bot tool here. So I'm just going to say, um, 
uh, write me a database oops, for uh, for the role playing game Call of Cthulhu, right? Um, and then your wording does matter because you need to tell it specifically like what you want it to do. So write me a, a database of, uh, yeah, weapons. Like this is one of the prompts that I used before, right? Write me a database of weapons and their statistical values for the role-playing game called Cthulhu. So it comes up with a, um, you know, it, it makes you a table. So I, I don't know if these are, are correct. Like, um, I, uh, I, I, I made one before, you know, like I did one of these before and then it, um, it, it had some things wrong in there, you know, but it's like, it just pulls these off of, I don't know, pulls them off the internet or whatever. Right. So th this is, but this is, you know, these are the statistical values for, um, some, uh, some weapons in Call of Cthulhu, which is enough to get you started. Right. Like you, you can plug in everything else. Like if you're playing a modern game and you want, and you have a bunch of cops that are using Glocks or something, you know, then you can plug that in. Right. And, um, uh, yeah. And then it has like, it shows what some of these, what these, you know, these tables mean. So I think that this is like the most useful one, right? But um, let's say that uh, I want it to. Um, uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna get it to write me a table um, of uh, skills. Yeah. Uh, skills and their functions. Write me a table of skills and their functions for the role playing game called Cthulhu. pretty good, right? So it just goes through and then, you know, like tells, um, it makes a, you know, a list of like, of every skill that's in Call of Cthulhu, right? So, um, yeah, I mean, these all look, this all looks right to me. Um, and you know, that's a lot of work to like plug all that stuff into, a game, um, or to, you know, make, uh, databases and stuff like this. Um, so, you know, I have these tables set up and I can, um, uh, well, I'll show you how I do it. When I, when I make one of these databases, um, I have like a, a root, root game database and then, um, everything else, like every, every kind of like a, a table that's, that's in the, the database, like I'll just make one database for everything. And then like, I have, um, you know, I have these like skills and stuff in here. And then I also have like, um, some like firearms and stuff, you know, and like, um, melee weapons and but I use the, the AI to organize a ton of this stuff. So it just, you know, cut the, cut the time to make a database in half. Um, so yeah, but let's say that, um, let's say that we wanted to, um, do, uh, w let's say that we wanted it to write a, um, a one shot, um, So I'm just going to say, um, write me a one shot adventure. Yeah. <laughs> write me a one shot adventure for the Call of Cthulhu role playing game. Um, so, you know, it comes up with, I mean, it, it comes up with something. You know, it's going to take me a little bit to read through this, but this doesn't look bad. This doesn't look bad at all. Like, um, definitely be like the seed 
for for something um just kind of like brainstorming right uh yeah and it calls it dreams and nightmares and like i have every, i have everything set up so that like when i go to a different page and then i i create a new page um it automatically organizes it you know so i know that this is an, an adventure and um but uh let's see i'm gonna make let's i'm gonna make an npc okay write me a npc character for the role-playing game call cthulhu who is a university professor and paranormal researcher and occultist oh no okay so it looks like i've used up all of my my ai credits for uh, for notion but uh or sorry, my, my free, my free trial has ended. So, um, but yeah, like th this is, this is super cool. It's super useful. Um, and then, you know, like I can, I can use all this stuff that it just wrote for me and, uh, organize all of that into a, um, a, a database and, and just basically have it build a database for me. Um, like, I think that when I tried to get it to write one for me, um, it, it got some of the values wrong for, like, some of the weapons and stuff like that. But, I mean, like, pretty impressive, really. And then it, it wrote, um, like, a description and, you know, like, did some stuff like that. And then I had to kind of organize things. But um, it's, it's a pretty impressive, like, pretty impressive tool. So it definitely comes in handy for keeping track of stuff in games like this. But uh but anyways, yeah, I'll put um I'll put a link to the ones that I've already built, the the databases that I've already built for um Traveler and, and Stars Without Number down here or somewhere or up here. And then um <clears throat> yeah, you can check it out. But uh but yeah, that's gonna be it. Sort and sweet. And um, I will uh, see you in the next one.